More on the market in a moment, but first, I've got to re uh, report this for you. A series of immigration bills moving through the House that would, A, protect dreamers, B, offer a path to citizenship for illegals, illegals already here, and C, fund border security. Joining us now is Congressman Carlos Corbello, Florida Republican. Sir, you came up with this plan, but the plan doesn't mention the wall. It mentions border security. Why did you let, let the wall out? Why did you leave the wall, the word, the wall? Why did you leave it out? Stuart, good morning uh, from Miami. And what we're proposing is a full-on debate on the House floor from very conservative legislation, which does include uh, border security, including physical barriers, the wall, whatever people want to call it, uh, to uh, other bills that are simply focused on giving uh, young immigrants brought uh, to the country as children a way to remain in the country uh, for the rest of their lives. We know that there's strong support in the country for increased border security and for protecting the victims of the immigration system, these young immigrants who came to this country through no fault of their own and who are contributing to our country. We want the Congress to act. For many years, Congress has uh, reacted or responded uh, to challenges from uh, presidents, from okay. Bush to Obama to Trump, with inaction, with paralysis. And what we're trying to force here is for the House to actually act and to meet uh, uh, this challenge uh, from President Trump last year, who, okay. who asked Congress now, to come up with a bipartisan solution. Congressman, I am told that your bill is just, what, two Republicans shy of passage? Is that accurate? So what we filed is a discharge petition, which would actually allow bills to come to the floor, in this case, four bills, one very conservative bill, one Democratic-leaning bill, a bipartisan bill, and then one bill of the speaker's choosing. Uh, all of these bills will be debated. They'll all be voted. And the one that has a majority and the most votes uh, would then uh, pass the House, and uh, the Senate could uh, theoretically take it up. So there's not one specific bill that we are trying to impose on the House. What we're trying to facilitate is this debate. And uh, so far, uh, Republican leadership has responded uh, by uh, encouraging a negotiation, a discussion among House Republicans that could lead uh, to compromise well, legislation. And we may not need this discharge petition process, but in the meantime, we're continuing to pursue it because what we will not accept is congressional inaction, which is what we have gotten well, you, for you, over a decade on so, immigration. Well, what you may do here is flush out the Democrats. Where do they really stand? Do they want a deal of any kind on DACA? That's what you're going to find out. Not so much whether the Republicans get a majority to pass it. No, you're going to find out whether the Democrats really want to deal with DACA, aren't you? And that, and that is a fair point, Stuart, because many on the left, not all, but many over the years have purposely avoided solving uh, this DACA issue, the Dreamer issue, because they view it as a valuable political instrument to use uh, in the fall of even numbered years. So, yes, this is going to require everyone to be honest, to be sincere and to show whether or not they're willing uh, to give these young people a way forward in this country. I really believe they deserve it. They've earned it, especially those that are working and paying taxes here and have gone to Good. college and gotten degrees. So, yes, uh, this will show uh, where everyone really stands. And that's another reason why we want to force this debate. Got it. Congressman Carlos Cabello, look, thanks very much for joining us, sir. Please uh, keep us informed on how this thing's going, because that's a very important deal you got there. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. We will. It. Thank you, Stuart.